Давай примерно. Shut up. We're taking you to the scene of the incident for further inquiries. For Lagos, Vitaya, I could never turn. Finally, you be I know. I tell you, no go fuck up. At least now. In 30 minutes. Yes, sir. 30 minutes to come back. So sorry, I forgot. Actually, I forgot to give the, the dry cleaners. All right. Yes, mom. I will always keep my room tidy. <laughs> oh, what's this, man? You're embarrassing me over the phone. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, mom, um, I, I just called to tell you that um, I want to go shopping and I need some money. Okay. Fine. Go, fine. Go, go, go. All right, we'll go together then. All right, see you, Mom. Love you. Wait a minute. What is wrong with you? Mommy's pet. Is it everything you have to include, Mommy? Mommy this, Mommy that, Mommy this? Why? Hey, what's the Gosh. problem? She's my mother, bro. Gosh. Come on, I got enough for the for coming in. Silly So I used to this lesson. Before that, it was so lovely, wonderful. Do you know everything you taught us in school today? I understood math, English, chemistry, biology, physics, everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's my princess. You see, the day you become a medical doctor will be the happiest day for me. Okay? Daddy, I'm going to need some money for my birthday party. Oh, okay. You That's are not all right. getting any money. We'll organize the birthday party for you. Mommy, I know now, but my friends are coming and I'm going to need some money to hold as well. Father gave me 10,000 naira last week. Here is the money. I bought two books. Joan! I saw the list and I bought all the books myself. I don't blame you. It's your father who has torn you into a goddess. My friend, that's into the kitchen. I'm going to help you do work. I'm not helping anybody, mommy. I'm not helping anybody. I, I, after what are we paying her for? Joan, are you talking back at me? Oh, come on. Take it easy with her. See, I'm sure she will learn. And remember, she's our only child. Oh, thank God you know that she's our only child. And as well as she needs proper training. That is why I'm saying that you should take it easy with her. Take it easy? Yes. Take it easy? Well, you are completely thrown this girl to something that I cannot explain. You want to pump her out of destruction? Go ahead. Pump her out of destruction. And as 
It's not my fault! What do you mean it's not your fault? How could you let an umbrella take away your gun? It is because the anchor is removed! What do you mean by that? What are you going to explain to the police? Alright, 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 alright! How can you allow an umbrella to disarm the ammunition? Okay, now get out to the office and let us you know about the situation now. Okay, sir. Continue okay. the start, man. Let's go. Another one. Mm. Hey, 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 it's okay now. Ah, why guys just do this to me? Now what's up, man? I didn't go. Say how are you? I'm fine. Once it's yours, it's alright. But say I come, 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 come. Seriously, man, I am tripping for your friends. Your friends are beautiful. You know what I mean? I need a girlfriend in my life, girl. Of course you need a girlfriend. I mean, you're a big boy. My baby. See what he's trying to say is he's spending the night with us today, and. He needs a companion. Look, you got beautiful girls now. Just look me up. I am very sorry. My friends are not welcome into this present day level. Hey, hey, what about this one? How about this? Those girls we, like, we saw now. Those yes, friends of yours yes, now. Those yes. ones with the, the, oh. the beautiful legs. Yes. The beautiful shape and yeah. all that. Man. Oh, patient. Huh? How about her? Yeah, but her sister is difficult. Count them out, perfect. <sighs> What about the one that was beside them now? The other girl was beside them. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, Joanne. That's Joanne, right. Joanne, yeah. But those girls, they come to pick them. and oh. She's loose, oh, but there's one. She's a pastor's daughter, but a man. Look, you can now see why I say your situation is helpless. Because those girls won't even give you a try. Listen, hey. my baby. You see, what we're going to do, Fred, I think you go for that pastor's wife. They're loose people. Just convince her. Pastor's daughter, you mean? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Pastor's <laughs> wife, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Pastor's yeah, wife, yeah. oh, my God, please. No, please. Oh, big mama with all that. Oh, please. Lord, Excuse me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, listen, he'll oh, go shit. for the pastor's daughter. Yeah. Uh, try and convince her. She'll come along with us. See. And she will, you There's know, nothing like along. that. Rose can never spend one day without staying in her home, okay? <laughs> try and convince hey, her. Hey, Sarah, look, look now. Look at me. Man, I'm a poor man, man, you know. I'm like, dying here, man. I'm a little know? girl, come on. He does. He's like, I'm begging you, please. Okay, okay, I'll try. All right, I'll try, sure. I know that. All right. Hey. Look, give it to me. Give it to me. All right, you know, let, let's just... No. Let's just hit that face now, man. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I'll take you guys to the place, sir. All right, man. That's cool. That's cool. This is Anita, sir. So, 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 someone is holding Jenny, sir. Anita, who are you? And did you say someone is holding my daughter? 
your daughter's friend, sir. We, we, we went shopping at the supermarket and, and someone is holding her at a gunpoint, sir. Did you say someone is holding my Jenny at gunpoint? Where are you? First Stark Town, sir. Step out from me. Step out here. First Avenue, my meat plaza. Let her go. Don't make any move. Let her go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Go in. Go away, I'll go first. Go. Go. Don't get back to anything. Brother, you have to do something to save this situation, ma. Please. Do something. My dear, we shall do, do something. Do something. I'm in a face too. Oh, madam, you can see I'm already in my big mood now. I'm afraid this interview just have to be postponed. But, sir, I won't take mm. much of your time. I promise you. No, no, no. I really don't have time for that now. Maybe you just have to come some other time. I told you I don't want to be disturbed. Sorry, sir. It is an urgent message, sir. From Senator Abimbola Davis, sir. Senator Abimbola Davis? Yes, sir. Okay, let me have it. Please give me a minute. Hello? Senator? Musa! Listen, Musa. Some maniac is holding my daughter at gunpoint. What? Uh, gunpoint? Where? Somewhere at Festac. Look, listen. I don't know what they want, but I want you to get my daughter out of that place immediately. I, I'll do my best, Senator. I'll do my best. Wow. My God. <sighs> Senator, I've been born of Davis' daughter. It's been held hosted somewhere in Fester Town. Sorry to disturb you, sir. We have a situation on our hands. One of my operatives just phoned me that the suspect is holding a young lady hostage. Oh, oh, oh. That is it. That is it. Senator Abimbola Davis' daughter. Oh, my God. Get the senator on the line. All right, sir. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, at least ASP maker, sir. I'm fine, sir. Yeah, please hold on for the commissioner, sir. The senator, sir. Thank you. Hello, senator. Uh, hello, Musa. Have you released my daughter from that gunman? Oh, it's been handled, senator. Oh, we have. I just want you to take everything easy. We have a situation under control. You know, I'm in firm control of the security of the state within my jurisdiction, and I can assure you that nothing to your daughter. Oh, uh, uh, Musa, please, I want you to do everything possible to make sure that my daughter is not harmed. Yes, I, I will do just that, uh, huh? Senator. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go. Go here. Yeah. With all this confusion, go where? Yeah. We are going to where my daughter is being held. Please. Yes. Matt, we can't go there. Certainly not you. Why? Some money I can sold in my daughter. And you say I cannot go there? I guess you will have to excuse us, huh? It's all right, sir. Mm -hmm. But, you. um, did you say that Senator Abimbola Davis' daughter has been held at gunpoint? Ah, oh, it appears so, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, please excuse me. Uh, I want you to handle that situation personally, okay? Yes, sir. Nothing must happen to that girl. Yes, sir. All right. That's all right for now. Ah, uh, you, get me the hospital you did right now. I want him right here in my office. Yeah. Okay, sir. But nothing is certain yet. You might even target. No. <laughs> no, no, not me. Not me. Listen, you never can be too sure. Let's allow the police to handle this matter. Let them handle the matter. No, I have to be there. Please, you can't go. I have to. 
You cry to me. You can't go. Oh, I, I, oh, I have to be there. Listen to me. I am as worried as you are. Please, let's wait for Musa to get back to you. Please. Let's go back. Let's go inside. Please. Please. Let's go. Huh? My whole daughter! Somebody holding my whole daughter Let's hostage go. in this country! She will be released. All right. Okay. Sitting far away from me now. Why don't you sit here? Come on, go and, man. Go and meet him. At least leave me and my boyfriend here. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Stop it, please. Oh, you know, go and collect the thing now. Let's start going. It's getting late, I beg. Please, we are not going around. It's getting late. Relax. Why are you in a hurry? Sure, you know, we need help from them. Do you know how pretty you are? You look very beautiful. <clears throat> Sir, please, um, go to the fridge. The things you see there, please bring it. Okay, hey, what's up? Not much. Rose, you're not feeling uncomfortable. You're feeling uncomfortable. What's the matter? What's the problem? Oh, come on. I'm yeah. okay. I'm okay. It's just that I didn't tell my mom I'll be coming. Late today, please. And it's getting really late. You're a big girl. I to go. Oh, come off it. You're a big girl. You know what to fabricate. You know those little lies. Come on. Oh, can I can I pass it? Yeah. At least you know how to fabricate. You know those sweet lies. You know. You're a big girl. Loosen up. Come on. Oh, my mom won't help me. Oh. Oh. Um, Fred. Let's get the um, papers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, excuse us. Okay, we'll just sit here yeah, and wait for you. All right. I saw that my I saw my two naked eyes. And you're sure you saw it, Sarah? Mm. Are you very sure? This had better be real. Because I didn't come here for nothing. So you are going to see the people. Mm. It had better be real. I don't know. I 
feel tired all of a sudden. I feel very sleepy. You understand? It's if you do everything I say and cooperate with me. You understand? You become a very desperate man. Don't try me, you understand? Did you understand me? Yes, yes sir, yes, sir. Sure, sir. What is the situation now? Sir, we are sure they are still inside. Do you know of a place said there is no other exit, sir? I so, see. Have you made any contact with him yet? No, sir. Because the cell should not do anything. Sir, I, I have the telephone number of the, um, the phone inside. I'm a young lady also have a phone with us. You shouldn't have allowed this to happen. You shouldn't! Sorry, sir. We did our utmost, sir. She's safe. My intuition is telling me that something is wrong with her. Uh -huh. Hey, that reminds me. She has a friend down the street. Let's, uh, let's see if she's there. Down the street? Yes. Let's go and try. Do you know the time now? Would their gate be open by this time? Let's just give it a try. Dana. Dana. Da. Take us at the gate. Okay. Good 
good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. How can I help you? I'm Pastor Paul. My daughter Rose is your daughter's friend, and they attend the same jam lectures together. Uh, she was supposed to be back by now, but she's not yet back. I was said to want to find out from your daughter if she knows her whereabouts, sir. Uh, well, um, it's unfortunate. My daughter is already asleep. I was here when she came back, and she didn't come back with anybody. You can ask the driver that brought her back. Yes, uh, we, she comes home with us every other day, but today she refused to come with us, so she stayed back with her friends. Her friends, can you remember any of them and help us? Uh, not exactly. I just picked my daughter, my boss's daughter, and we left. <laughs> man just left here. The man introduced himself as Pastor Paul. He claimed that you are his daughter's friend. They came here to inquire if you know their daughter's whereabouts. Do you know anything about the girl's movement? No, Daddy, I don't know. I left her in less than You can't drive her. I don't know. Just look at yourself. I warned you to stay clear of such friends, but you won't listen. Now get it straight into your brain, young woman. The next time, I will not be prepared to tolerate any stupid and embarrassing inquiry for your sake. Now get back to you. Nonsense. Matthew, why don't you relax? I'm sure nothing will happen to Jenny. I see. What I still don't understand is this. Why Jenny? Eh? Why my own daughter? Sweetheart. Yes. You can't possibly provide answers to those questions by worry. This is Jessica by reporting live from Mami Plaza, where the daughter of a notable politician and banker, Senator Bimbola Davis, has been held at gunpoint. The said gun man is said to be an armed robbery suspect on the run. And with me here is the friend to Jennifer Bimbola Davis. Can you please tell us what happened? My name is Anita, a friend to the senator. Shut up! Shut up! Don't you don't do it now! We're just coming out of the supermarket when a young man ran, held my friend at, at hostage. I don't know why. Just, just like, like that? that? Yes. Just like that? Yes. Nonsense! Why are they having the whole of this thing on here? Please take it easy. Well, how can I take it easy? How can? The whole world will now know that my, my daughter is in no stage. Hello, hello, Musa. It's me, Senator. Hello, Senator. Listen, Musa. What is the point having the whole of this thing on, on, on here? Why did they put it on TV? I want it stopped immediately. That is not possible. We are in a democracy. I don't care. I want the broadcast stopped immediately. <sighs> Hello? Oh, Chairman. How are you? Uh, yes. Oh, thank you very much for your concern. Yes, um, the commissioner is um, taking care of Hello. that. Hello. Yes, I'm sure he will do his best. Yes. Um, could you please hold on for the senator? He's on thank the other line. Thanks for your concern. Yes. Thank you. Hold on, please. 
Senator Kafu. Hello, Senator. How are you? How, uh, that is the situation. I still... Uh, yes? I still don't know what to do. Oh, the Hello, the commissioner is... Yes. Hello. Hey, my sister. I don't... In fact, I am so confused. I don't know what to do. Still at the Mommet Plaza. Well, Miss Jennifer Bimbola Davis is still in there with the armed robbery suspect. Well, viewers, we can only hope for the best. So what can you say concerning this kind of thing happening in this country? I think um, I will refer that question to my boss. Where Sound is he? Okay, thank you. Good day, sir. Yeah, yes. good day, sir. Um, so I would like to know what is the situation report? Yeah, we received a distress call this morning that uh, a suspect is holding a young lady hostage and then we, we arrive here and then we are making everything possible to make sure we call the situation. Okay, we we'll believe in that with you around there is going to be no hot. Oh, definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know, who are you? I am the owner of the supermarket. Okay, so what happened? My sister, we were here in the shop, two ladies came to do some shopping and I was seeing them all with my girl. All of a sudden a young man came and held him with a gun. You don't know him? I don't know him from You've anywhere. Never seen him I've never seen him before. The intrigue and waiting game continues. The question now is, is Miss Jennifer Abimbola Davis, is she safe? Is she unharmed? Well, after this time out. <laughs> Turn off the phones. Turn off the phones. I, it seems the whole world wants to speak with us. Matthew, what if the call has to do with Jenny? This racket is getting too much for me. It's just too much for me. Why, my own daughter? Why? Hello? Go on outside. Which of the Hello? Hello? Is that you, Felix? What? I know that you are there, Felix. Now listen, I think we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. At least we are talking. We are getting somewhere. I am ASP maker. Is the girl all right? Talk to me, Felix. I say, is the girl all right? I know you are there, Felix. Anyway, uh, it's of no use now. The entire vicinity is surrounded by my men, heavily armed. <clears throat> yes. Why don't you give it up, Felix? Well, we can strike a deal. I happen to know also that my guest here is the daughter of Senator Bimbala Davis. Did you want her life? Sure. No harm should befall that girl, Felix. You're not in any position to back in. You will listen to me. Now, you do exactly what I want. <laughs> Felix! What is that? Felix! If you try that again, I swear I'll shoot you. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope nothing has happened to that girl. Sir, or can we try it again? Not yet, sir. Let's give him five minutes. I'm 
sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I don't know what came over me. I, I've never hit a woman in my life before. Get away from me! Don't touch me. I'm not what you think I am. I'm not a criminal. This whole thing is like one big nightmare. I, do, I don't understand what is happening. I'm just trying to survive. Do you understand? Please, please. Go away! Go! Go get me. Go! What is wrong? I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean that. Go away! Go away from me! No. I am out of here. But Matt! Jenny cannot be alone with that, with that, with that rascal! No, I must do something immediately. Matthew, it is not even certain yet who they are after. It is better me than my daughter. Yeah, I must do something immediately. Ma, Ma, Ma wait for me. Are you Sir! Get inside the car. Ma, wait, Ma. Good day, sir. Musa, are you going out? He says he wants to go to the supermarket. Uh, whatever for sir, there's no reason for that now. The situation is being handled by my men. But I still have to be there. I must be by my daughter. That is not necessary for security reason. My men will handle the situation. And you can be rest assured that nothing will ever happen to your daughter. <sighs> this bastard. What does he want? Oh, he is just a suspect on the run. It's just a coincidence it had to be your daughter this time. Oh, so, so it's not a political thing targeted at me? Oh, certainly not. And that is the more reason why I have to be there. Uh, I just have to be there. It's not advisable, sir. Uh -huh. mm. My men are capable of handling the situation. Sweetheart, yes. I think the commissioner is right. Yes. <laughs> Let's allow them handle the situation. You just leave that to us. I mean, we are capable of doing that. Let's not go and complicate this. I think we should all go back inside. Oh, no problem. Yes. She's right. Ah. Bastard! <clears throat> hey, holding on to my whole daughter in this country. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Welcome back, viewers. We're still at the same place. Unfortunately, the situation remains the same. Well, Miss Jennifer Bimbola Davis is still in the supermarket with the armed robbery suspect. But I can tell you that the police has kind of made a contact with the abductor. And I can also tell you that the, the identity of the abductor is no longer secret. His name is Felix Abuge in his early 30s and is also wanted by the police force in connection with the armed robbery case concerning the People's Bank. Well, thank you. is what happens to the hostage will he kill her will the police redeem the situation we can only but wait for the answer <laughs> that can't be true it is not true no this is not felix oh my god felix is that you know how he comes it is not true my son cannot do that Felix, you can't do it. It cannot be you. <laughs> oh, Felix. Are you ready to meet all my 
demands. Are you ready to cooperate? Is the girl all right? I must speak with her first. The girl is fine, but that is not the point. Are you ready to cooperate with me? Now listen, I have to know if she's all right before we can negotiate. Listen, don't play with me. You joke with me, that girl will die. I promise you that. And you don't joke with me also, Felix. We have to cooperate with each other. Now, is the girl all right? Let me speak with her. You say exactly what I tell you to tell me. It just wants to confirm if you're fine. You do anything out of order, believe me, you will die. You understand? Hello? Is this uh, Miss Adebawale Davis? Yes, it is. Uh, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Are you sure you're really all right? <laughs> Now you've confirmed she's fine. Now you listen carefully. This is my demand, okay? I want fifty thousand dollars in unmarked bills. I want them in hundred dollar bills, okay? Untraceable. You try anything funny, I will know. Believe me. I, I I want I want an ambulance. I want an ambulance with a driver, okay? Standing by, fully fueled, and 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 uh, it's heading to an unknown destination. Only me would decide where it's going, and I don't want it followed. If you follow me, believe me, something will happen. Something really crazy will happen. And thirdly, I want a jet. Stand by a jet with a pilot, fully fueled. I don't want any crew. Okay? It's going to fly me to another unknown destination. Do I make myself clear? Let me tell you something. If you try anything, believe me, I'm desperate. The senator's daughter will die. Felix, you know, what you're asking for is not possible. I'll tell you what is possible. What is possible is that I am desperate and that girl will be shot if you don't meet all my demands. I promise you that. You have two hours. You understand me? Two hours! You don't have to walk up yourself, sir. That is not what I want to hear. That is not what I want to hear. But you're already getting yourself worked up. Hello? Hello? Yes? Oh. Good news! <laughs> Hold on. Your daughter is alright, sir. Has she been released? Not yet. So, what is alright about that? Oh, she will soon be released. <laughs> I can assure you. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Yes? What's the situation like? Yes. Uh huh. No, 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 no. You just play along. Give him the impression that you will get him whatever he wants. What does he want? Hold on. This young man has watched too many foreign movies. What does he want? Fifty thousand dollars, an ambulance, and a private jet. Listen, give him $100,000 and any of my private jets. All I want is my daughter. Tell him, tell him. ASP, Emeka, listen and listen carefully now. This is what you have to do. Double that man's request and get the job done, okay? It is done. Until then. <laughs> Baby, come on, you know how it is. Where is she? She's gone. I really can't do anything with that.
ಹೌದಿತ್ತೆ ಹೌದು ಮಾಹಿತೆ graduate I graduated four years ago in chemical engineering with a second class open what haven't I done to get a job I come from office to office I've gone everywhere trying to secure a job to not avail my mother is the center of my existence. She's the central bit of force from where I gyrate, from where everything that happens around me has essence. She's everything. She's a little god, god place on earth for me. You see, I lost my father when I was barely one year old. I barely knew him. My mother single handedly raised me. Single handedly. Everything was okay. She was doing okay in business. It was fairly okay. And then all of a sudden, my mom started getting sick constantly. I thought it was maybe because she was working too hard. But when we went to diagnose what was wrong with her, we found out she had a kidney problem. Mama was dying. It was a nightmare that had no ending. I was watching my mother go before my eyes every day. Do you know how helpless I felt? We needed a lot of money for our treatment. And before I knew it, he drained everything we had at home. Everything. We had nothing left. And then finally, the doctors told us that she would require a kidney transplant. And it was going to run into millions. Where was I going to get the money? 
went from one uncle to another, one relative to another. People she had helped in the past, when things were okay, every one of them had an excuse, a reason why they would not help my mother. I was helpless. I was so helpless. Then one day, I found myself in the company of Yomi and the others. They were gang of armed robbers. But it gave me a hope. It gave me a reason to think my mother was going to be okay. One day, we found ourselves in a room. And he gave me a gun. the first time I was touching a gun. How much more using one? He said we're going to rob a bank, people's bank. How to cut a long story short. The operation was not successful. The bank was fortified. I happened to be the getaway driver, so it was easy for me to escape. In no time, the police found Yomi, Ben, and the others. And they were on my trail. I went into hiding. And then they started, they found me today, and they were chasing me, and I had nowhere else to go. I ran this way, and I saw you. I took you hostage. It was, it was purely out of desperation. I didn't know what to do. I'm not a criminal. I'm just, just a victim of circumstances. this to the end. I have to save my mother. You don't understand it. You will never understand it. She's all I have. I have I'm an only child. She's all I have in this world. I lose her. I have nothing. Felix, you have to give up. Okay? Look, with the money and the jet, I can get my mother away from here. I can go and treat my mother. I can, I can, I can do this. I just I need your help. Please help me. I just want to, I will let you go as soon as we leave here. Listen help me save my mother, listen, please. Listen to me. I know you better now, okay? I've heard your story. And I promise you that I'll do everything that I can to make sure you're set free. You don't understand. Every day I lose that woman. If she goes, I go. Please help me. I have to do it for my mother, please. $50,000 means nothing to your father, please. Help me. I will help you, but you have to give up. The intrigue and waiting game continues. Well, viewers, we are just here waiting and hoping. Felix, you think you're smart? I will say we're smarter. with this.
I'm really a bad person. <laughs> no, I'm wrong, girl. It's For 7 30, so I have to leave early. Mm -hmm. So, now have this. Take this. Give this and buy whatever you want to buy. See, I promise you this will be the last time I will leave you behind, okay? And as uh, soon as I come back, I'm going to take you out to the shopping. All those things you requested, I'll buy them. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. 
Be a good girl, okay? Right. Right? Bye-bye. Good. When our eyes met, I have never been so ashamed in all my life. So I went to the attendant to give her some money to cover for some of the things Rose was buying. We need to get back there and the money was returned to me. But, I mean, why? Rose rejected it, of course. But look, Fred, I'm... I feel so terrible. Me, I don't think this thing really means anything, but if you insist, maybe we should just go and look for her and apologize. Or maybe I should take my mom with me. Oh, here it goes again. Mom, mom, mom. Can you please grow up? Please, for once. Oh, gosh. An ambulance has just arrived. The gunman requested for $50,000 and a private jet plane on standby. Now the authoritative source from the police says the demand has been met. But the question is, what happens next? Where do we go from here? This is Jessica Mba reporting. Now that everything has been provided, what is holding this bastard from releasing my daughter? Relax, relax, take it easy. Calm down, everything will soon be all right. Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. The hostage comes out with a pistol in her hand. Felix Abuge willingly gives up himself. This officer places a handcuff on the wrist of Felix Abuge. So worried about you. What did you do it? How did you take the bone from him? It's a long story. The commissioner is waiting. I'll explain everything later. Well, viewers, what a story, what a situation. All is well that ends well. Isn't that what they say? It's been a long and exciting day, but I can tell you, it is not the end of the drama. This is Jessica Mba reporting from Marmit Plaza, Festec Town, Lagos. Thank you. Can you all show everybody something? By the time I finish dealing with you, we will regret your life. One more. Who's in there? Hold on, let me open. Come here. This morning, everybody has been suffering because of you. Give me your hands. Thank you. 
results and I want to see a friend down the street. But mom, you've not said anything. About what? About the girl I said we'll go and see. Mom, I want to apologize to her, mom. I love her. Look at me very well, Fred. Do you think I will stoop so low as to go in with you to apologize to a girl you drugged and slept with forcefully? Literally, Fred, it is called rape. I am a woman and I know the pains a violated woman feels. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry, but I can't believe it myself. Your remorse is coming late. I have questions. I mean, how could you? How could you do such a thing? I am not going with you. Whoever led you into such act should accompany you to apologize to that girl. You're a big boy now, aren't you? Clean up your mess. to do that. Well, you have, I've forgiven you. You can go, sir. Dad, you forgive them. You forgive these two, two, two fools after what they did to me. Dad, send this rapist out of our house right now. No. No, Dad, no. 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 You can go. to you? Mommy, I've told you 
told you already. You didn't do anything to me. I'm fine. What I still don't understand is how Jenny took away the gun from him. I've said it before. He came with the gun himself and saw it at himself. So he is true. He actually gave the gun to you. I don't care about that. That bastard will still rot in jail. I, I will see to that myself. I agree with you. No doubt. No. What Felix needs is our assistance. Hmm? What did you just say? Felix is not a bad person. Jenny. He just needs our help. Shut up. Jenny. Are you sure you're right? You don't know what you're saying. Matt, I agree with you. Jenny doesn't know what she is saying. After all that bastard put us through, you're here talking like this for him? It's alright, it's alright. I think um, she's still in shock. Listen, Jenny. As soon as you finish eating, you go into your room there and have a rest. Is that clear? Yes, Dad. What do you want here? What do you want here? Are you the devil? Or have you come to violate me the more? No, Rose, please don't talk like that. I came to apologize to you. You dare to ask for forgiveness. You dare to have asked for forgiveness. I'm sorry, I can't forgive a dog like you. Rose, please. What happened between us could be divine, you know? Have you thought of that? Divine? I'm not sure you know the real meaning of divinity. How could you call such stupid acts divine? Please, please, I think I have better things to do right now. Please, just excuse me. Just go. Rose, please, I made a vow. I said I must marry the first virgin I sleep with. Rose, please. Maybe this is God's, God's plan for us. Please, Rose. You I'm sure you must have made a vow in your life at one point that you said you must fulfill. Good morning. I don't know. I just woke up and I saw some blood on my body. <laughs> hey, you're my dear. You're not your mind. As a period, you see. Really? You're not going to improve, woman. Go get a wash of this. I can't tell you how she knows to take care of herself. Thank you so much for every stage of my life. Especially now that my mother said I have become a woman, a full grown woman. Lord, I thank you. And may I never sleep with more than one man in my whole life. Through Jesus Christ, I prayed. Amen. No, 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 no. It can't be. It can't be. I give you five minutes. Huh? Five minutes. Thanks for coming to see me. It really means a lot to me. So, um, how did you manage to come here, I mean, with all these people, all this security? You talk 
our connections. Um, have they been maltreating you? Well, that is to be expected of the police. But let's just say by all intents and purposes, they've been quite fair. Maybe it's because I've become something of a um, celebrity. <laughs> Actually, on my way to get some drugs for her when the police came after me. I don't know her state now. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Don't worry about it. Um, just give me the address and I'll make some arrangements for her. Okay. No. I really don't think I deserve all this. Look, do me a favor. Please, to break my mother's heart to see me like this, don't tell her for this. I can't afford to lose it. Please. Your daughter has gone to the station to see a criminal who almost got her killed. And you are relaxed here as if all is well. Maria, getting worked up will not solve anything. Hmm? Oh, it is getting late. She'll come back. Maybe I should have gone to the station myself and drag her home as soon as that call came in. That wouldn't have been necessary. Where do you think you're coming from? I went to visit a friend. You call that criminal a friend, eh? Criminal? Mommy. The commissioner informed us as soon as you were sighted at that station. Jenny, what is the matter with you? What is it? Felix is not as bad as you think he is. Oh, shut up! You talk as if you don't know who you are. Maybe I should tell you. Now sit down. You are the daughter of Senator Adimbola Adebowale Davis. And I won't have you associating with refrafts. Definitely not that criminal. Okay? That's enough. Uh, that is not enough. This girl has to be cautioned. But I've told you before. Felix needs our help. Did you hear that? I am not going to take this nonsense anymore. Talk to your daughter. Matt, I am not going to take this anymore. I think I have had enough. Talk to your daughter. Please talk to your daughter. Talk to her. Hmm. Um, Jenny, your mother is really upset with you. But I don't see anything wrong in assisting Felix, Dad. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Felix is a criminal. He almost had you killed. Such a person does not deserve your help. Felix is not a bad person, Daddy. Like I said, Felix is a criminal. A confirmed armed robber. His case is already before the law court. And um, any moment from now, he will be sentenced and executed. What do you have to do with such a person? Daddy, please. Consider this matter closed. Felix's mom. Yes. Who are you? I'm his friend. Um, how are you feeling now? Felix. 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 
Did you see what Felix has done? Felix is a criminal. It was shown on television. Please, stop crying. <laughs> Please, don't cry. That's <laughs> all I did for Felix. This is my reward. Disgrace. <laughs> Are you, are you alright, Ma? Ma, what is this? The pain. This pain is killing me. I know there is Felix. It's okay. Ma, you see, Felix has asked me to take care of you. Oh. Okay? You're going to be alright. I don't want to talk about Felix again. I don't want to mention it anymore. Please don't mention it. Okay. Oh, my son. It's okay. My daughter. You say you're my son's friend. But I've never met you before. Well, um, we met not too long ago. I'll take care of you, okay? Everything is going to be fine. Thank you, my daughter. It's alright. Did you see what Felix has done? Oh, it's okay. Please just don't cry. Hmm? Where is Felix? Can't I see him again? You'll see him, Mama. Okay? Can I offer you? No, 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 no. no. Let no, me get no, him Mama, no. I'm okay. Hmm? Please, don't bother yourself. I oh. just came to see how you're feeling. Okay? The pains. You're going to be fine. I can't mm -hmm. see Felix. I can't see Felix. It's okay. We'll soon go to the hospital, eh? Yeah? Okay. No, sit on my head. Joanne, I saw some pornography magazine in your room. How did you get them? I bought them from the internet. 
What about the sexy young guys? Who bought them for you? I bought them myself. Where did you get the money? <coughs> Sorry. 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 Daddy usually gives me money whenever you travel. I see. Anyway, that's not the issue now. You just try and take your thing. Eh? Let me call your dad's dad and go to the hospital. Madam, I don't know if you will like this. I really don't know. Doctor, please tell me. Please. Well, she's two months gone already. Two months what? She's two months pregnant. Oh my god. No wonder. No wonder I saw some funny things in her room. But, Doctor. Maybe, are you really sure? Maybe you should check again. <laughs> How about madame? Is this not the same our baby? No, I'm absolutely sure what I'm telling you. She is pregnant for real. Ah, what this shit. Why me, God? Why me, my only child? There's really nothing wrong with pregnancy. Depending on who is responsible. So just you know, go home. Ask her very well. I have not provided for you as a father. Do you know what the doctor said? The doctor said that you are pregnant. John, that you are pregnant! <laughs> Who is responsible? Result of your pregnancy test. Don't lie to me, Juan. I will ask you for the last time. Who did you have sex with? Answer me. So now. It was the driver. I'm in that big house all alone. I'm terrified. 
and scared of all our skirts going in the compound. I knew, I didn't want to be scared. But I just didn't feel the need to it. Just now. Yeah, you can, but I said you have to manage this place. Daniel, if you really like him, you understand what I'm saying. Don't you know this is the only opportunity you're going to get? I still don't understand what you're saying. Well, you still you never understand what you're There is nothing we can do other than allow her to have the baby. Maybe it's a way for us to have a grandchild. God forbid. My daughter to have a baby for my driver? Sometimes you, you think so odd. A driver that wanna start fasting tomorrow morning? Then what do you suggest we do? About the baby. About what? About the baby, of course. Then we can make some adjustments and then give her the real meaning of parenthood. You amuse me at times. So you expect a man of my status to take my daughter to the doctor for abortion? I can't do that. Hey, don't worry. Leave it to me. Uh, go ahead. You are the mother. I will not be a party to that indecent act. Don't involve me, okay? Don't worry, okay? It's a woman's affair. We will handle it. Uh, go ahead. At least that will contain your movement to Abuja and Kano every day. You will not face their responsibilities. For sex. I've not done anything to you lately. 
Does my daughter look like those cheap prostitutes supposed to be at the hotel? You call Tiga. Madam, I'm sorry to have pulled again. It was the other's house. Charles! Now go what inside. Do do Pack your things and get out of this house. Ah, madam, please, sir. Please. Come me, please. I don't have much of town, you know, my problem is that every time I have to take uh, Mama to the hospital or go scout for a job, I just find a designated area, take my 20 Naira bus fare and I'll go. Uh, and I haven't had a car like this to move around with, uh, dress nice like this. This is where I've always wanted to dress. It's it just nice. I cannot afford it. Yeah. It looks really nice of you. Thank you. You have great taste. I've ever shopped for a man before. <laughs> no. I was just kidding. Um, you know we have to hurry, so I'll get back. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I wish you were not going back. I wish I could spend more time together. I know, baby, but look, coming out here, it's, it's done me a lot of good, okay? Don't worry. By the grace of God, Lord, they will put all this behind us in no time. Oh, 
She's showing on that criminal. She must not go to see him again. But I thought the matter is settled. How is it settled? What did you do to her the last time? Jenny will not see me again. What if she does? Oh, she won't. You still haven't answered my question, Matt. What if she does? What's wrong with you, Maria? I said my daughter will not see that boy again. Full stop. You are what is wrong with me, Matt. Because you don't seem to see anything wrong with whatever your daughter does. This is different. This should, is different, my dear. It better be. Because I don't want Sibyl to hear that our darling daughter goes to the cell to visit a common criminal. What has Sibyl got to do with this? Sibyl don't know. Her son is returning from America shortly. And... The bank manager. Hello, how are you? Yes. Yes. What? Thanks, Adi, for letting me know. Thank you. Anything the matter? This is getting out of hand. How could you withdraw such a large sum of money from the account without informing me? Is it informing you that is the matter here? How could she spend it so recklessly on that woman by taking her to the hospital? I had to do it. Shut up. And she even had the guts to go back to that cell to visit that boy. Felix needs help. Not persecution. Shut up. This nonsense has got to stop. You've got to understand me. Felix needs compassion. I see. What Felix needs is to rot in jail. Hmm? Daddy. Daddy. You've always trusted my judgment. Please trust me now. Not again and not in this house. You cannot continue to behave the way you're behaving and you're saying that. What, what kind of understanding uh, is that? Uh, 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 calm down. How are you behaving like that? Calm down, my dear. Calm down. There you go again. I should calm down. The next thing you start to support her. I said calm down. Okay. And you go back to your room. Listen, my dear. I know Jenny, my daughter, very well. I want us to examine the issue more quickly. More what, Matt? Your daughter is getting out of hand and this is all you could say? Getting out of hand? Yes. Because she cared to save the life of a dying woman? I think we should be ashamed of ourselves. Oh yes, Matt. We should be ashamed of ourselves for letting our precious daughter go near a common criminal. Ah. What will people say? Oh, that's your concern, isn't it? What will people say? Have you considered what my daughter is going through and what she wants? We decide what she wants. You and I decide what she wants. No, my dear, no. Capital, no. She also has a say. And where are you going? This issue is close. It is not close, Ma. Ah. Ma, it is not close. Ma! Ma! God. What is happening to me? Why do I feel this attached to Felix? Am I doing the right thing? I mean, what if it's not?
yes? Okay. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Yeah. Okay, bye. Don't worry, I'll take care of Sorry, no, sir. Doctor! Sorry. No! Sorry. God! Let's go to work. God, wait! Help! Help me! Please! God, help me! Please, God! It is not possible, Jenny. It is not possible. 
not possible. No, Dad. You know it's possible. You have the connections. You have the influence. Assuming what you are saying is possible, why must I influence the judge? Because you're my father. And Felix... Felix is not a criminal at, at heart, Dad. Circumstances forced him into it. That is still not enough reason to influence the judge. Oh, listen. Circumstance is not an excuse for crime. Should everybody decide to go into crime because of circumstances, what will the society turn to? My dear, let the law take its course. Daddy, please. My dear. Please. like this you cry all day you don't even eat food what are you doing to yourself John, why don't you listen to your parents and marry this guy that has been seeking your hand in marriage I cannot believe you're saying this to me Anita if this is what you've come to say to me leave me alone okay just leave me alone but this is two years Felix has been in prison. He doesn't even write you. How long are you going to continue doing this to yourself? It's not your business, Anita. If it's going to take me till eternity to wait for him, I will wait for him, okay? I expect you as my friend to support me. We are supporting my, my, my parents. Thank you. But I do not want your advice. Jenny. I am really very sorry. Really, I am. Please forgive me, okay? Please. Why don't we go inside?